The most basic rule for integration is the power rule. Just like in differentiation, when there is a power rule, in integration there is one also. When using the power rule, firstly, we simplify the function where possible. We do this by writing all the powers of x on the top line. Then we state the power of the function, n, and its new power, n plus 1. Finally, we apply the power rule for integration, that is, the integral of x to the n dx is x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus the constant of integration, c. Consider the example the integral of x to be squared dx. In this case, we can see that the function is already in its simplest form. So if we integrate x squared, we get x 2 plus 1 all over 2 plus 1 plus the constant c. And tidying up, we have x cubed all over 3 plus c. In the next example, we have the integral of x to the 4 over x2 dx. In this case, we can see that the function is not in its simplest form. So firstly, we need to simplify the function. From indices, we know that if we have a to the m over a to the n, then this can be simplified to give us a to the m minus n. So that means that x to the 4 over x to the 2 is simply x4 minus 2 or x to the power of 2. So now the integral of x to the 4 over x2 dx is simply the integral of x squared dx, which we just found out was x cubed over 3 plus c. So the power rule applies for all values of n, except when n equals minus 1. When n equals minus 1, we must use a different formula. In this case, the integral of 1 over x, or the integral of x to the minus 1, is given by ln x plus c. So consider the example the integral of x over x squared dx. Again, we can see that this function is not in its simplest form. So if we simplify, we have that x over x2 is equal to x 1 minus 2 or x to the minus 1. And now the integral of x over x2 dx is equal to the integral of x to the minus 1 dx. And now if we integrate this, we get ln x plus c.